At a time when the world stopped, ships kept moving. People still shot, ships kept on proving. The volume of trade that's moved by sea, 90% of trade, actually. Crops that are weighed, cars that are sprayed, and it's easy to see the impact this makes. Fruit and vegetables, toys and collectibles, wheats and grains, the blood in the veins. Like to land a farmer is, ships are to the sea. And if the world is the heart, ships are the arteries, which stock the pharmacies, move essential commodities. So there's a lot at stake across these seas. Without these routes, half the world would starve, while the other half would freeze. Without these bright colored containers, the four walls in our house that contain us would be empty. The books we read, the animal feed, the oil we need, the global lives that we lead. No oil, no cars, no essential spare parts. The sea's version of stars, those flickering lights on the horizon. By moon and by sun, but the journey is never done. As a supertanker proves, the distance it moves is equivalent to three times around this Earth a year. And we are served by over 61,000 ships. The things we buy, the things that shops sell, the 1.7 million seafarers, it's more than just engines that propel this industry. And it's easy to see that a lot is owed to the people that load. 6,000 ports worldwide, but it's not all plain sailing. It's rough seas and piracy warnings and the change that this inevitably causes. The sea covers 70% of our planet, so you can see why we need to plan it. A global community of knowledge and passion, from salt and sugar to the latest fashion. Our ships keep moving products we love using. Ships make the world go. They help trade flow and let business grow.